Hello, everyone. Ah, thank you so much for coming to my presentation. Uh, I, a lot of have you come. Uh, I truly hope you enjoy. Mm. So let me first introduce myself. Uh, my name is Shin Jung Hoon. I'm from Co uh, Korea, you know, South Korea, not North. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm currently working as a researcher. As a researcher, I mainly research about uh, software bug. Uh, but sorry that I cannot reveal the name of my company. They don't allow to me. I mean to. Uh, I also do a little bit of community service by uh, working as a mentor of the BOE program. Uh, BOE program is a pre-education program that educates youth to become future leaders in the field of security. I also go by nickname Simi. Mm, I've also put up my face ID below here. Uh, as you reali realize by now, my English is quite poor. Uh, please, ex I please excuse my English, which can get quite random, random sometimes. Um, so, if you have question, please test, uh, please ask them through Facebook message. Uh, so, let's get start. <coughs> Uh, today I'm going to talking about talk about uh, five main things. First, I will explain uh, about the basic AT network. Second, I'm going to introduce my uh, introduce pen tool vendors in South Korea. Then I will explain how to pawn pen tool device and reach reach HMS server. And finally, I'll talk about the things we can do after getting can control over these device. <coughs> uh, this presentation uh, plan not to reveal the, the name of pen tool vendors, but it will be easy to guess because there are only three IS company in Korea. Uh, first thing, we are gonna look at the basic structure of pen tool. The red box on the left is pen tool. Uh, in Korea, we upgrade our basic three G network. Infrastructure to provide AT service. Uh, in Pemtosa, the following four terms are most frequently ma mentioned uh, UE, which stands for user requirement, is simply a term for a mobile device. Uh, basically, it means your cell phones. Uh, FAP, uh, Pemto access point, is, that is a part that link user, user requirement and uh, core network to internet protocol. Mm, we will not talk about security gateway and PEMTO gateway on this presentation. So I skip I skip them for now. But the question is what is PEMTO cell? Uh, PEMTO cell to simply put in is a small base station. Its original purpose is to clear up shadow zone in service area. A single PEMTO cell can cover an area of 10 to 12 meters in radius. Um, the standard name, the standard name for Pemtosa is Home Evolved Node B, but it is also called as Small Cell. Mm. I choose I choose Pemtosa as a topic uh, because it is very important uh, because it is very important part of LTE network and it and is already widely spread. These days, people can do can do everything through LTE network. They trans they transmit text messaging, voice messaging, email, and many more that many more that relate to our daily lives. Uh, this means that uh, vulnerability in Pemtosa direct directly lead to uh, vulnerability in our uh, uh, in our daily information and data. Uh, in two thousand ten. Korean ISP company originally planned to install Pemtosa in a few years. Their plan was to co-install internet with Pemtosa and relevant modem in every household. But it has not made progress since 2010. Uh, please refer to please refer to this table. This table list this table list vendors that manufacture Pemto device Pemtosa device. Uh, on the right side of the table, you may notice some popular companies, you know, uh, maybe Samsung, Huawei, 
Lục giới Xem tiếng uh, <coughs> Korean ISP corporation are among them uh, There are three ISP companies in Korea Yes, only three uh, Which one do you think is most uh, popular one? Which one? SK and KT, most famous and big. Mm. Uh, each firm, yeah, each each firm, it has its own Pentosa supplier. Mm. How did I know that? Mm. Uh, of course, from Google. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a uh, good sense, uh, you may have already realized that font size or some difference. Font size or difference. Mm. Okay. Uh, in South Korea, Pemtosal vendors are not allowed to sell their device to private individual. Individual. The reason varies, but mostly it is because Pemtosal is still a prototype. But the real problem comes from the place where it is te tested, the, LT the, the public LT network. As you as you all realize, uh, LT network can be easily accessed with just IP address, right? Uh, that circle that circle area is where we will focus on. Look closely, and you can see a part that say EMB. Uh, EMB here refers to Pemtocell. Uh, also, H HEMS is very important, but we'll get back to it later. Okay. Mm. From now on, let's talk about more inter interesting stuff, which, which is how to pawn Pemto device. Uh, and this is the part where I got the title of my presentation. Uh, mm, even like at this moment, talking about Pemto side, I, I have never touched it, Pemto device. I literally start from zero. Then, how did I get all those information? Again, Google help me. <laughs> yeah, a lot of Pemtosal vendors publish a lot of Pemtosal vendor publish online advertisement or run corporate blog on their product. All this all this information helped me to make a list of Pemto Pemtosal vendors. I pre I pre previously showed you. Uh, for instance, this red box shows the blog one of I one of ISP firm in Korea. Mm. Uh, the article reads that the firm installed its Pemtocell prototype at Starbucks near to Gangnam, Gangnam Station. So, what did I what did I do after finding this out? I went, eh? I went, I went there with my friend to actually check it. Inside the red sock is the Pemto device. The man standing there is my friend. He took a picture of the device for me uh, because I was too short. Uh, <laughs> uh, fortunately, the couple on the sofa did not care about us. <laughs> yeah. As you can see from this photo, it says Pemto AP or with IP address. Um, what, do you guys, what do you guys usually do with IP address? Oh, yeah, I scan it, yes. Mm. So, based on the device IP and information on each vendor, I had right to port scan the IP. Then I found that, uh, then I found that web service is open in a particular port. But because of web authentication issue, I was not able to go further. So, I went to do uh, I so I went to the website to figure this out. Mm. Uh, I read all the operational manual for Pemto products, and I didn't literally, literally expect to find much. But I happened to discover a crit critical information. Uh, it was it was about the SSH port and ID and password of a normal user. But no information on IP address was to be found. Right? Mm. 
I also found a root password format. Mm. The format was fixed, fixed string, uh, like a uh, dong one, uh, plus last two, last two digit of MAC address, which means that there is just su command, we can easily make it become root. But once again, I could not find the information on IP address. Uh, but I, I finally found a very helpful information from the very last page. It was about troubleshooting, uh, and it exposed all the IP address of actual device. Uh, I was very lucky. Uh, do you see the two green box? Mm, two green box. The IP the IP address are written there. With all those information, I couldn't. I could easily get root. Uh, I use blockchain just in case. <laughs> That's because, unfortunately, this server is no longer accessible. Mm. Uh, <coughs> now we can do everything. First, I got a firmware and binaries, and also check the firmware update logic, uh, and I and I look for some interesting files. This was uh, this was moment. This was the moment I was able to find a lot of XML files and AT compu configuration values. Uh, XML file is important since it communicate with HEMS. Uh, for the last step, for the last step, by analyzing the formula, I tried to find uh, remote code ex execution artifact because. Uh, just uh, accessing SSH is a piece of cake. Huh? It's not really cool. Uh, this, I this is what I've got. I was able to get the IC attack vector. Uh, that screen image showed that debugging port was open like that. I also realized that each PEMTOSHARE operation process had a single debugging port. Uh, this meant uh, that man that Many ports had identical debugging features. I had no idea why, so I decided to analyze this. I first start with the unknown message type. Uh, do you see that? Two, two red box. Uh, this image that I access to a different port, but all of them had the same debugging features. I was very confused. Uh, the analysis did not take that long. If you look at the code, A1 is uh, A1 is a string pointer delivered from the user to the RECB receive function. Uh, the red box shows the routine that prints out the unknown message type. Uh, if A if if A1 is first byte is either one or two, then we can go to parse parse. CMD function. Mm. Yeah. Mm. As soon as you reach past CMD function, uh, you can reach up to this code. Uh, then you will be able to get the patch that handles system command. It seems like execution system commands, looking at the description on the uh, handler, we just found. Uh, Perfect exploitable exploitable command injection. <laughs> yeah, this is um, to set the payload. I have summarized it. The payload length should be longer than eight bytes, and each first byte should be either one or two. Now or now or you have to do adding system string and try command, and done. Now we have root. Uh, this is the exploit code. Very simple, right? <laughs> uh, for your information, this PEMTO device was using ARM CPU. Yeah. Then I start to check, check user ID and IP address. Uh, look at the red box. Uh, you can, as you can see, UID was zero. Also, I pro I also I use proxy chain. Same reason. Uh, now I can move on to the next step. <coughs> Oh, okay. Then, 
then what is the next thing we could do? Mm. This, is the part, this is the part where I would like to explain about HEMS -E server. HEMS uh, -E is basically a management system of HEMB. Therefore, controlling HEMS means controlling all the connected pencil device. So, I managed to have this sort of experiment, experiment with pencil device that I mentioned at the very first. Anyway, in order to have access to their device, we are gonna have to analyze, analyze the permeable binaries, spot is vulnerability, and ticket is system pile. Uh, do you guys do you guys remember uh, do you guys remember what, what I did after acquiring a shell? After I got the shell, I got the uh, information on how to access HEMS. <coughs> HEMS provide uh, FTP, HTTP, and CWMP service. Uh, I will explain HTTP with the web vulnerabilities. <coughs> and try to use the expose ID and password to access FTP. <coughs> but before that, let me first explain about CWMP service. HEMS use CWMP protocol to control pencil cell. CWMP protocol therefore has a variety of functions for pencil cell. For instance, it update it update permeable, save the data log, and other more different other more in XML. <coughs> this is the uh, information for accessing WMP I got from binary analysis. Uh, this is a side note; is not the same thing as a FTP account. And uh, the reason I black box. Uh, those area is that they include information on pentacel vendors. Uh, you can use this information when using CWMP for an authentication. Mm. Uh, this is the list of command used for communication between HEMS and pentacel. Uh, XML, through XML template, I printed the XML con command list above. I was able to do a lot of things with this, uh, but I did not attempt to do it because it can actually damage the network. Uh, so I so I tried some command that would that uh, would not damage the, the network. <coughs> uh, just as the image show, uh, you can use this as a web or local interface of pentacel device. Uh, the the image is web interface. I just I just took the information of MME server for test. Uh, MME is like a brain to LT network. Uh, first, uh, it authenticates user requirements with an uh, authentic uh, authentic uh, authentication protocol. Secondly, it manages GTP tunnel. And thirdly, it monitors if a user requirement is stick to a network or if it use internet, etc. Mm. Maybe maybe attack could be to other interesting stuff via MME IP address. Now, uh, let's look for the other vulnerabilities. Mm. First, uh, let's look for system pile with FTP information. This can easily be done with the IP address and account I account information exposed on temp directory. You can see the pile you can see the files that start with IPRS. <coughs> please please note that uh, the FTP of HMS is not accessible from the outside. Uh, it can it can only be accessed to Pento device. You need to FTP access from the um, Pento device. If you look at the directory, you can realize that there exist uh, exist uh, compressed permeable files. Mm. It seems that these permeable files are not encrypted. Uh, so, I was I was able to easily extract information from it using bin walk. Mm. 
And this is actually the part that I found very amusing. It lists all the PEM2 device connected to connected to HEMS according to date. Please, please refer to this log file. There are a total of six five zero uh, six five five zero nodes and those regarding GPS information. So I try to uh, I so I try to follow the popular game base on GPS information. You know Pokemon Go? <laughs> yeah. Later this thing called Pento Stop <laughs> will be used to find a Pento device that have a high traffic. Try it. Singi.kr slash pento.html. Yeah. <coughs> uh, okay. Let's find out vulnerabilities of HMS HMS web server. By by accessing HMS through web browser, uh, you can have a look at the index file comprised comprised of flash. This image shows HEMS login page. I wanted to try SQL injection there, but I soon got scared. So I compiled the flash flash to know how it process. Ah, sorry. So I decompiled the flash to know how it process login. Uh, after decompiling, after, after de decompiling, you can get the action script inside flash file. There are about four hundred action scripts. And I also read them all. And I soon managed to detect a uh, vulnerability. Action script had ha uh, action script had used too much remote object class. This could be really dangerous. Uh, remote object is used um, this tag to represent an HTTP service object in an XML file. This tag gives you access to the method of Java object, Java object using action, action message format encoding. If uh, if uh, uh, if uh, 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 if an attacker creates new client and calls a remote object directly, any filtering in action script can be bypassed. Let's check it. <coughs> you can. You can see that all destination names, also all channel, also all channel names are my m my dash a m f. We will use exactly the same thing for our new clients, which is which is obvious considering that all endpoints of channel IP are also exposed. <coughs> we are. We are gonna use a function then use remote object class like is on the photo. Uh, from the function name, it seems to call upon the this. Uh, sorry. Uh, from the function name, it seems to call upon the list of device linked to HEMS. So we will try this. On the code, you can see name of destination and operation name. This is part of exploit code. By compiling this code directly, you can get PEMTO device information. Uh, the red box below the name of destination and operation we got from the last sli last slide. The result was uh, successful. Successful. <coughs> this is the result of exploit. I organized it into Excel to look good. I will show it it later. No mosaic version. Uh, I found this function uh, and use it to get the shell. I use I use remote object to function file upload. I acquire I, I acquired the shell after making a new client uh, after removing extension feature. I will not I will not publicize the exploit code because it is similar to previous one. I did take a picture when I get the shell, but with just my sm smartphone. Please excuse uh, low photo quality. If you look, if you look it closely, uh, you can realize that user ID is HEMS, not uh, roots. 
Okay. Ah, <coughs> uh, okay. Uh, can you speak more? From now on, from now on, this is um, off the record part. <laughs> yeah, you can you can only see this at this time. Yeah, this. Uh, the following the following contents are not included in the public PDF version. Uh, if you want non-public PDF, request me at after my presentation. Mm. Uh, our target is KT. <laughs> No SK, yeah, KT, our target. So after all this experiment, I realized that Pento devices are greatly vulnerable due to some silly vulnerabilities. Now I'm now I'm going to dump Pento device and pack it and extract some usable data. Uh, what I mean by usable data is the uh, user data and user voice. This may seem like HTTP protocol, but it is actually GTP protocol in an encapsulated format. Luckily, HTTP data look easy to extract, but I wondered, so I studied about GTP. Um, all the packet, all the packet in mobile device are encapsulated through GTP. GTP. This is used for both mobility and billing system. When we access the internet, we usually do so through an operator network. But in fact, the actual actual destination is mostly outside of this network, right? Mm. You only have to you only have to think of the way to go to p gw within that network. Now look at result of HTTP data. These are the exposed image that user search through a browser. Um, I cannot decode HTTPS packet since I only did a simple packet snipping, but it would be definitely possible possible if you put SSS3 filter into Pento device. Uh, this is a different packet. It has JSON structure, uh, Korean, but don't worry. Um, this is the RSS data from online news in Korea. Uh, it's talking about Korean celebrities. Okay. <coughs> now, it's time to extract SIP and ITP packet. At first, I thought voice data would be inside the SIP protocol, but I was wrong. SIP protocol, I SIP protocol only set the line. Uh, and um, actual voice data was being transferred to ITP protocol. This was quite this was quite difficult because uh, people these people these days don't usually have a phone call, right? <laughs> so, likewise, uh, likewise, the SIP packet are also encapsulated to GTP. Just just make sure. I actually phone call the number on the SIP packet. <laughs> I will make a call with this number. Mm. Then I realized that my number was also on the list. Mm. My Korean number. Mm. Now we are all set. Let's try ex extracting voice. If you search if you uh, if you search for uh, ITP from Wireshark, you can easily see the AMR-WB packet. AMR-WB codec is a standard for voice transmission when using voice IP on a uh, LTE network. Uh, AMR codec, AMR codec, unfortunately due to license problem, I could not actually play it on Wireshark. Therefore. I used FFmpeg to decode it and played it through some player. On Wireshark, you can simply use ITP packet file to dump it. Like that. Then use the hex editor to add uh, sharp, 
what 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 did you say? Dash ah thank you. Sharp dash a a y dash w d string. Uh, to the offset zero of the dump file. Now decode this file using ffmpeg. I used to I use ffmpeg option like this, but I made script I made for this top. Ah, uh, sorry, but I made uh, but I made script for this top. Uh, I show it I show it on the demo. Now we are all set. Let's pick up some voice call. We have nothing to do with the demo. I just want to think that now. So <coughs> now I will show to demo. Um, at first, First, uh, let's look at the mm, XML file that lists the pencil device. Uh, this file that is saved with all the pencil information connected to HMS. On it, write, write, uh, wait, uh, on it, it writes IP, IP, and pencil, uh, pencil device name and is installed place with this we can do uh we can do a uh, snipping at place we want <laughs> there are almost two oh there are almost uh, um, 9000 pento device in korea Okay. Uh, next, uh, let's extract it voice data from picket file demo. I will show I will show this code later. Nothing special. This time, okay. Because pile is big, is a um, little bit slow, so I cut with clip. MP3 file is created. I will show you uh, contents later. First, let's look at the code. Mm. Python code simply add magic number to offset zero. Maybe uh, sharp uh, AML dash WD. Mm. And uh, shell script used uh, T shark and FFmpeg. Just it. Easy. The last demo is the uh, ITP data contents. It means uh, wire tapping. Uh, please note that you hear only the user voice connected to the PEMTO side. Coloring, coloring. Sorry, I hate, I hate, I hate 
아니야. 네. 네네. 네. 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 무슨 마일리지 말한 거죠? 아, 네, 네. 음, 네, 네. 그, 잠시만요. 그, 위에 보면 멤버십 있잖아요. 거기, 네, 들어와가지고. 잠깐만. 잠깐만요. 어, 내가 아버지 전화 왔다. 너무 아파 못 견딘다고. 그, 제대로 병원에 누가 실로 지안 되나? 어? 택시를 하나 불러주든지 할 거면. 도저히. 여보세요? 아, 예, 이사님. 예, 예, 잘 지내겠습니다. 네. 네, 요, 계속 안 됩니다. 네, 네. 그, 이사님, 저, 재고가, 재고가 저, 다른 대리점에. 안녕하세요. 올레 모바일 음성 사수함입니다. 음성 녹음은 일반. 嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，
to do it. Yeah, I think. It just might be, yes. Hi, um, Hi. So you mentioned about the debug port, right? Uh, the debug port that you connected to your netcap? Yes. Uh, didn't that show up in the port scan? Port scan? Yeah. Ah, it did. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just wanted to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the last question? All right, one more applause for Jung Hoon Shin, yeah. guys. Thank you. Thank you.